structs sit at the core of every Swift UI program. So it's important you pause for a moment and just check your learning so far. It's time for checkpoint six. This time your challenge is to make a new struct to store information about a car. And I'd like you to include some specific information. You want to include its model. You want to include number of seats it has, and you want to include its current gear as it's traveling around. I would like you then to add a method to change gears up or down. It could be one method or two, it's down to you. Along the way, I would like you to think about variables and access control. What data in our properties should be variable rather than constant and what data should be exposed to the world for modification. And should the gear changing method validate its input or not? You know, we assume a range one through 10 makes sense for gears. You could do zero for neutral maybe, or 11 for some particular monster trucks maybe, but I think one through 10 covers basically every car in existence. As always, I want to encourage you to give this challenge a try yourself. Pause the video now, I'll be here in a moment, and I'll walk you through my solution, but you'll learn so much more by trying it yourself. Okay, if you're still here, I'm gonna assume you want hints. Let's talk hints. First up, I think it's fair to say a car's model and seat count won't change, so they can be constant. But the current gear, italicized current, is gonna change as it's traveling around, so I'd say that thing should be a variable. Second up, you make sure you check your gear change is possible when changing gears up or down. So you could say there is no gear zero, there's nothing beyond 10, that'll cover most cars in existence. Third, if you choose to use private access control, you might also need to create your own initializer. But I wanna caution you, is private the right choice here? Is it the best choice here? Experiment and decide for yourself. And if you have methods that change properties, which you should do, changing gears, make sure you have the mutating keyword, otherwise Swift will complain. That's it, good luck.